general, the commander, and the head of the delegation. Uh, once again, let me take this opportunity to thank you for having children in Uganda. There are so many countries in the region that you decided to come to Uganda. So we are very proud of you. We are very proud of the country of Burundi to have chosen Uganda and you be different, particular as a case study. You have seen yourself how rich Uganda is. Just after the liberation in 1986, for us, we knew we are backward. Instead of walking, we started running. This kind of tour of the military teams from different countries creates development, creates at least some bit of security in the region. I want to remind you that apart from the military activities we do share, we Uganda as a country, when you look at the economy, I'm very much aware that you do buy quite a number of items from Uganda, meaning you do support the economy of this country. Taking Uganda is a case study of the statue is where it goes. We, as senior command in the staff college, Kinanira, we as members of East African community, we are convinced that we can benefit from drawing lessons from our neighbors instead of drawing lessons from countries from overseas or Western countries. Because the lesson we, we draw here they are most applicable than those lessons we, we could draw from overseas. That's why we have selected <coughs> our ally, Uganda. This tour is about to strengthen and deepen our military cooperation. In particular, through sharing best practices you have and then to make use of them and to apply them in our respective countries. The more Africans get into middle class, they will develop appetite for markets and so on. And they will see the, the futility of these uh, colonial borders. What my friend is calling forest borders. See, what did you expect? Either you would have built walls, which they couldn't do, because they were dividing the, the, the same people. So when I hear this terminology, porous borders, the real name are colonial imaginary lines <laughs> of the same physical features. <laughs> the other day, we were about to, to box each other that there is a, a small island, is it Kenya, is this fish Uganda, is this fish Kenya? This futility of fragmentation is sustained by mindset. Africans are supposed to wake up. Can it be possible to have one time? Why not? What stops us? And it doesn't mean we lose our identities. It is like we, Uganda. They just brought together different ethnic groups and the colonials announced you are all in Uganda. For them they did it, for us we fear to be. So it is in your hands, you, 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 you as majors and lieutenant colonels. This is your project. For us we are putting our brick there, our thinking is on paper.